all of us are capable of being very welcoming and cheerful towards the people we encounter. Like lotus blossoms bask in sunlight and can create a pleasant atmosphere, like a refreshing breeze fragrant with the perfume of the blue lotus. In other words, I, together with other people, cheerfully, day after day, full of energy and good cheer, if each and every one of us has such a positive attitude, we will without fail build the basis for a happy society for ourselves and other people. I haven't decided yet what to do or where to go in the future. I think that the Buddha will give me some time to think about what I want to be. I only have decided that I will embrace my life as my warm face and in my warm way. I'm really happy to have come to hold you. I hope to live my life in the future. Giving thanks to everybody I meet and everything I receive. And here is my big dream. This is to learn to love myself, to trust myself more, and to build a harmony with all people. I ask, how much? Next moment, the chef gave me a yellow Thank you very much. We will see you again. Bye-bye. I will present one huge pitch for you. After, cut it later. You will be fun. One, two, three. <laughs> I am always with you, Densuke-san and Ohana-san. Densuke and Ohana are very happy to receive the Shining Buddha in their home later. This is a story about the enshrinement of Gohonzo. Why were we born into this world as human beings? The life of each of us comes from our parents, who in turn received life from their parents and from their ancestors long ago. We should be grateful for our existence. We take life for granted but should pause and think about it. We were not born into this world of our own conscious will. Why then were we born as human beings? An extraordinary power is at work here. We were given life by a powerful exceeding human volition. We would like to introduce you seven wonderful words that lead you a happy and meaningful life in the following skits. Number of things. That is best wish a mom which do you like more elder brother or me i like you best takamasa oh, really i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> mom whom do you like the best in our family i like you best kenji really i love you mom <laughs> uh, if you are happy and you know it Clap your hands. Shiawase nara te o tatako. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Thank you very much. How do you read your life each day? Don't we all want to have a life? Full of happy and pleasant days, rather than dull and dark ones. 
then what should we try to keep in mind in order to make this happen? It's of vital importance. Responding yes, clearly and cheerfully when you are called by others. It will be even more beautiful if you respond with a smile, rather than do it in a sulking manner. Again, it's never easy to truly put this into practice. However, there is no question that you'll be able to lead a happy life with a present and refreshed attitude if you repeat this good habit over and over. Good morning! In trying to build harmony, little by little, in the world around us, I believe that the single most important thing is to develop our sense of human unity. In chapter 3 of the Ruta Sutra, a parable the Buddha proclaims, Now this triple world all is my domain, the living beings in it all my children. To, to show our understanding of the teaching of the founder, Nikyo Niwano, we are going to sing a song that titled, We Are the World. So they know the summer cares and their lives will be strong and free. As gold has shown by Danny's dog bread, so we all must rend the healthy hand. We are the world, we are the children. Because all of you are practicing the way and surely will become Buddhas. So your name is never disrespectful. <laughs> I guess that's a good name for you. You are never disrespectful, Bodhisattva. Let's fill this world with beautiful flowers of Buddha nature. Thank you very much. The parable of a good doctor. Once upon a time, there lived a great doctor. The doctor had many children. Sometimes the doctor went to the foreign country. See you. See you. After he left, his children had their own way. Then they drank some poisonous drugs by accident. The poison penetrated into the children. When the father came home, he was surprised at the sight of the children. The doctor means Buddha. The children means us. The poison means worldly desires. The medicine means Buddha's teachings. <laughs> 